Oh, shit. It's your boy, Mr. ILTB8. <coughs> I'm touching down from that two, one, four. And I'm on that bullshit again. I'm on that bullshit today, right? Y'all know how I do. Y'all know how I do. I was scrolling up my articles. And what do I see? I say, have Earl Spence Jr. learned his lesson? So y'all know how I do. Y'all know how I do. I must address the bullshit. First off, shout out to everybody on here from that 214 to across the pond, you understand me? Second off, shout out to the UGC. We are the underground community. I need everybody to make sure y'all go subscribe to that UGC boxing channel, you hear me? We are the realest boxing talk, and we are true media. Shout out to my dog, the Black Horseman. Shout out to my dog, Jose Chico. Shout out to my dog, Remy. And shout out to my dog, Kevin. Shout out to everybody down here who followed me, man. Mr. LTBA, you know, we've been under the weather, you know, for like the last week, week and a half. So, I ain't been able to put these videos out. I'm still feeling under the weather, but, you know, I must, you know, I can't, just because I'm under the weather, you know, I feel bad. I got to make this video. And when I was sick, right, you know, I was scrolling on my articles. You know, I follow Earl Smith Jr. on Instagram. I seen him, I don't know where it was, but on one of his Instagram snaps, you see him Instagramming one of his partners on top of the table with a cup in their hand, drinking, and just having a good time. So I wondered to myself, like, after, and then when I came back to it, a couple hours later, that uh that snap was deleted. I guess somebody got in this area and say, man, hey, man, you know, you, you see you video recording your partner on top of the table with that drink in his hand. That ain't going to look good for you. Shout out to my dog, Tim Doug. It's crazy to me. After going through that horrific situation that he went through. Is the guys that you still hang around, are they good for you, Earl Spence Jr.? I know them your buddies. Shout out to my dog, Brandon B.H.B. Farley. What's up, man? Shout out to my dog. I appreciate you coming on here. Is them guys good for you, bro? I don't know if any of y'all seen that shit. It was a couple of days ago. He was out at like, they were shooting basketball, and he was warm, but that snap. I'm like, damn, Earl. You shouldn't be hanging around no niggas, and no niggas who know what you just went through. Shouldn't even be drinking around you. Them niggas should have that much consideration. Excuse me. <coughs> Them niggas should have that much consideration to understand the situation that you was in in October. And they shouldn't do nothing around you. Nothing. You know, we got to let the truth come to the power and the power come to the truth. At the end of the day, everybody know the fall out with me and Derrick James. You know, Earl Spence putting up a post talking about I used to be his number one fan. Whatever. That ain't got nothing to do with this. What it got to do with this is people, we need to see, do people really give a fuck about this dude? You know what I'm saying? Have he understand? Do he understand what happened to him a couple of months ago? Because there's no way in hell people should be around Earl Spence Jr. drinking. All on the table. 
Shout out to my dog, the inside line. None of that shit. And, um, like I said, I've been under the weather, man. I ain't even had the, the power to make the video that day, but shit, it, it, it just been on my mind ever since. Because I'm starting to think like, damn, dude, do you really have a drinking problem? That's what I'm starting to think to myself. Did you learn your lesson? Why are these guys around you partying and drinking? They should have that much consideration for you because you is the creme de la creme. You was the one who put a lot of people around you in positions. Give a lot of jobs to. Fuck that homeboy shit. We got to be on that real life shit. And I'm not sure if this dude Earl Spence done learned his lesson. Shout out to my dog, one, two kid. Because ain't no way in hell, after going through that horrific situation, what I would imagine just a couple of days ago, I'm seeing a snap of him snapping his pot on top of the table with a drink in his hand. Then a couple of hours later, it's deleted. I it was just disturbing to me, y'all. Like, it was disturbing to me. People won't be like, oh, that ain't nothing, man. That ain't. Yeah, it's something. It's something. Because it ain't no way in hell this dude should even be thinking about the nightlife or being around in, uh, areas like. What happened with him should have woke him all the way up. Should have woke him all the way up. Should have made him look at everybody who was around him. And who really gave a fuck about him. That's what they should have did. I don't want to see you snapping your boy on top of the table. With a drink in his hand. I don't want to see that because that showed me. Like damn. Have you learned your lesson? Do these niggas around you mean you any good? They could tell you they love you all day, bro. I don't give a fuck about that. Nigga saying you love somebody and you care for their best well-being is showing somebody that you care for their, their, their well-being. And me saying that, I don't get that impression. I get the impression... Like, I don't think dude learned his lesson yet. Because no way you should be snapping. Your partner's on top of the table drinking. Like, nobody around you. Shout out to my dog, Michael Park. Shout out to my dog, Sam Michelle. No fucking body around you should be even thinking about picking up a motherfucking drink in front of you to entice you. Because it's clear you like the drink. It's clear. You know. I don't know if you're still drinking now, but I'm not sure that you're not drinking. Because me seeing that, it just, it just blew me back. I'm from Dallas, Texas. You know, everybody know Earl Spence is from Dallas, Texas. So at the end of the day, whether I'm into it, like, whether problems are this and that, I'm still going for my Dallas fighters, regardless. You know, I'm not going to be biased for them, but I'm in the, in, the, in the back of my mind, I want these niggas to win. That ain't going to change. But I just don't understand this guy in Earl, the true Spence Jr. I don't, under, I don't understand him. I don't, I don't know if this guy really learned his lesson. You know, you got niggas out here who nut hugging him, don't want to tell him the truth. You know, niggas going to try to defend his every fucking action he do. But how can you defend that? Because any motherfucker who follow Earl on Instagram, they seen that same shit I seen. 
And then they seen that shit get took down. Big facts. There's no way in hell, if I'm Earl the Truth Spence Jr., that these same people are going to be able to be around me. And if I do still let them around me, it's going to be boundaries. They're going to understand you can't do this. You can't do that. Shout out to my dog, Chan Smoke. Shout out to everybody on here, man. Your boy, Mr. RTBA, been under the weather. Still under the weather. I feel better, but, you know, show must go on. A couple of days ago, I just couldn't just do it, but I'm back. Like I say, at the end of the day, we want all these fighters to be in the best position that they could be in, right? We want Earl the True Spence Jr. to be in the best position that he could be in. But it starts with you, dude. I know you like that nightlife. I know you like that poor life. It's clear. We see it. We see it. But you got to understand the position that you was in a couple of days ago, a couple of months ago. Well, motherfuckers didn't even know you was going to fight no more because you decided to get behind the wheel drunk. So this shit fucking pisses me off, man. You know, I'm seeing that snap of this dude with this promising fucking career. God gave him another chance, and he's snapping his boys on top of the table with drinks in their hands, dancing this shit. Are you kidding me? Are you fucking kidding me? It seemed like that horrible situation that you was in. I ain't say I would give you no motherfucking ranch. That horrible situation that you was in, bro. That should have woke you up. Why is you worried about going out to this nightlife? You got that ahead of you. You was in the situation where you almost didn't fucking box no more, bro. This shit is fucking disturbing. I don't know if the guy get it. I don't know if you get it, Earl Spence. As a matter of fact, I don't think you get it. Because your actions are showing that you don't get it. And the motherfucker who really give a fuck about you is going to tell you this real shit. Them niggas around you shouldn't be picking up no motherfucking drinks, nigga. If they want to drink, they need to leave you and go to another motherfucking bar and drink, nigga. Facts. Just don't like what I'm seeing. And I'm not going to sit and be quiet. Shout out to my dog, she is bitch. I'm not going to sit and be quiet when I see shit. I'm going to speak on that shit. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to my baby, Lisa Bells. What's up, baby? Nah, Earl, don't talk to me no more. And it's cool. I don't, it don't matter. Just as long as he see my videos and I tag him in it and he hear this truth shit. Um, so, um, yeah, man, I just don't think Earl Spence, I don't know if Earl Spence get it. You know, um, we did keep that same energy, you dumbass motherfucker. Shut the fuck up, you bitch-ass nigga. Matter of fact, I don't need nobody. I'm going to do this shit myself, bitch-ass nigga. Time out, motherfucker. Shut your bitch-ass up, tall Knox. Shut your bitch-ass up, you bitch nigga. Bitch nigga, we ain't talking about cover left, bitch. If your bitch ass... Go back and look at videos of when that shit happened with Kovalev, nigga. We was on that shit, you dumbass nigga. 
Shut your pussy ass up. Just like a pussy nigga. And I don't respect none of them niggas around Earl who still picking up drinks and drinking around this nigga. I don't got no respect for you niggas. You niggas is corny to me. Cornball ass niggas. Because a dude who got a chance to continue to make millions and millions of motherfucking dollars, y'all partner, y'all doing this foolery around him still. You niggas is corny to me. Shout out to Red Glove Miller to my motherfucking dog. Nigga, Earl Spence done transcended the boxing game hurl in Dallas, Texas, you dumbass niggas. Done made a couple of meals and got a chance to even make even more millions. And you dumbass niggas drinking around him, partying around him. Y'all want to kick it all when Earl drink. He the coolest guy, huh? Looking ass niggas. I knew someone right with them niggas that night after that Ocampo fight when them niggas was finna get in that, that Mercedes Benz. Thank you, Lisa. When that nigga was finna get in that Mercedes Benz, that nigga came over there and said, man, I'm going with Correa. I'm looking at them. I'm like, huh? I'm looking at them other niggas the way they left when them niggas start getting salty over y'all. I'm telling that's when they start feeling a certain type of way. I'm looking at them niggas. I'm like, huh? I'm going with Earl was twisted too. I'm like, huh? And nigga say he going with me and his partners right there. Nigga, so I knew it was some. I knew it was some up then. You know. And I just think it's an absolute shame that these niggas are still going to places with Earl. Is that tell him now, Earl? Man, let's just come to your house, man, and kick it, man. Let's play some two K. Let's do all this shit. You know, let's cook some food and do this shit. Mm. Telling y'all, bro. Niggas just niggas be around for the good time, bro. Niggas be around for the good times, bro. Like I said that night when that nigga said, "Man, I'm going with Karay," I said, "Huh?" And you had them niggas just looking at me like. Nigga, man, say, I'm concerned with Earl the Truth Smith Jr. I don't give a fuck what nobody say. I'm concerned with the people he got around him. I'm concerned. I, I wonder to myself if this dude learned his lesson after being in a life changing event that God blessed him to come out with no broken bones. Yeah, his teeth was knocked out, but you know, you got money, you can get new teeth. Oh, man. Oh, man. I'm just concerned, bro. Like, because I don't give a fuck, you know, yeah, me and Earl, we ain't cool like we used to. But that ain't going to stop me from... Rooting for this nigga still, bro. It ain't gonna stop me from rooting for this nigga. And fuck any nigga who don't who don't believe me or who don't like the fact. Whatever, nigga. I'm telling the truth now. But that don't mean I'm not going for Earl Smith. Shout out to my dog, Martin Machine. And niggas out here, that's what the niggas try to plot, but it ain't even about that or nothing of that. It's about motherfuckers around him doing silly shit. Earl Spencer, no, he shouldn't be going out. Not right now. You shouldn't be doing none of that shit. Samuel, you a fool, man. 
Shout out to my nigga Guido. My nigga Hercules. Let me get my nigga a ranch man. Ranch gang, man. It's just, I don't know if dude learned his lesson yet. And this is a sad, sad story because... Appreciate you, Remy. Nah, I st I, come on, bro. I'm still want Earl Spence to, do, to, to beat all these niggas. My thing is, I don't know. I don't know if he's going to beat all these niggas. That's me being honest, because I don't know if this dude is as disciplined as we all thought Earl Spence was disciplined. I don't know if his mental is right where he understand the people who are around him. You know, um, I just don't, I don't like what I'm seeing. Shout out to my dog, I'm boss, the boss boxer talking this motherfucker. Because if anybody followed him on IG a couple of days ago, he showed the post of his partner dancing on the table with the drink in his hand. And a couple of hours later, um, the nigga erased a goddamn snap on, on Instagram. I'm concerned for that dude. And I'm concerned for his mental to world. He don't understand that people around him got to be better than that. They got to be better than that. They shouldn't be encouraging him to go out or meeting up, to go out and do all this other stuff. No, nigga. You should be in a goddamn house. Chilling. Shout out to my dog, Iron Cone. Nigga, you should be in a goddamn house chilling. You shouldn't be thinking about nothing else. Nigga, you should be thanking whoever you praise, nigga, of giving you another opportunity in life. Shout out to my dog Zamulu. Teton Toledo. Man, I don't know, man. I mean, that's cool, Iron Comb. You know, it's all love with me, man, you know. I mean, he put me back on that, you know, that's cool. Um, for him to do that, it showed that he felt a certain type of way, like, um, I mean, you can see he really fucked with me, and, you know. I guess niggas in this era, you know, they ain't like the fact that, you know, I was telling the truth why I said Terrence Crawford is a new boogeyman. Because these niggas don't want to fight him. You know, so. You know. It ain't nothing, it ain't nothing, nothing lost for me, man. I took that as a, you know, a hit on the chin, man. We're going to keep on moving, bro. It is what it is. You can't control niggas' feelings. You can't control what niggas do. Like, nigga put me up on his IG. You know, cool. I'm just concerned. I don't, I don't think this dude learned his lesson. And, and that's my honest, humble opinion. Could I be wrong? Absolutely. But for me seeing him out, seeing his partners all on the table with drinks in their hand and shit, like that's that same lifestyle he was living before he had the wreck. So, like I said, I'm concerned. Nah, for real, man. You know, like... I don't know, man. Like, I, I'm i lost. Because at the end of the day, I still want the best for this dude. I don't want him being in no around motherfuckers who drinking. That can entice him. This is like a nigga who smoke weed trying to quit smoking weed. If you're around niggas who smoking every day, nigga, you're going to continue to smoke, nigga. Nine times out of ten.
I'm lost for words on this one, man, because it just tripped me out like how he came back and erased that. And then you heard him talking about, I beat him 45 out of 26, I beat him. Like, damn, was you under the influence then? Was you drinking? I don't know, man. And I don't know why. Um, this should be a bigger story than what it is. He do. Nah, I'm, I'm with you, bro. Iron King, that make perfect sense. Oh man, I'm, 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 I'm. Oh man, I'm. Oh, man, like, y'all, like, I've been sick. I couldn't speak on it. I'm still sick. Shout out to my nigga Rondell. Still sick. But I'm got enough power to speak on this shit now, nigga. Red Glove, I don't know if this dude learned his lesson, man. Oh, uh, Pacquiao calling him out. I mean, it's good, but you know. Man, bro. Niggas will look at this situation and be like, oh, man, leave Earl alone. He young. He just having a good time now, motherfucker. That's what, what happened to him the first time. Niggas was leaving him alone. Niggas seen this problem he had. And instead of niggas, um jumping on the situation, it had to take this nigga flipping 30 times in this goddamn car. Shout out to my nigga all boxing 1108. So, um, I don't know if he get it. I don't know if he get it. And I'm being honest with y'all. I don't know if this dude get it. I don't know if Earl done stopped drinking. Because clearly from what I seen on that video, you know, it looks like the same old thing. Same old thing. And that's astonishing to me. My bad, y'all. Hold up. That's astonishing to me from what he just went through. Because ain't no way in hell, y'all. I got a dude. Like, ain't no way. You know what I'm saying? Like, hey, look, like I said, bro, if I, man, look. I just want somebody to tell him. I ain't, I, I ain't around them no more. You know, they don't. I mean, it is what it is. I ain't around them. But I hope somebody else step up. Victor Penn, what's up, man? I hope somebody else step up. I hope somebody else really step up because this is disturbing to me. You know, like as a person from Dallas, a person who was around Earl Spence for years before he made it to the big time. Like this disturbing to me. You ain't lying, bro. Fame is a hell of a drug. I don't know, man. I, I mean, it's hard to say who I got in that fight. Like right now you have to lean towards Crawford because you don't know what Earl Spence, um, where he at right now. We got to see him come back. So right now I'm leaning towards Crawford. But if I see Earl Smith come back and he looking in rough form, then maybe, you know, we'll go in a different direction. Yeah, especially fame in Dallas. You ain't bullshitting. I mean, yeah.
Yeah, we seen what happened to him. I mean, bro. I just want this dude to do the right thing. I don't want this to be a sad story. I don't want to have to have hurt niggas talking about this. Oh, Earl spent moments in career, but the dude couldn't put down the liquor. And he messed up everything up. See people come in the room, all oh, the people around me, uh, you know, I should have got rid of them. They weren't telling me the right things. They were just influencing me to do this type of shit. I don't want to see that. I'm in the building on that fight. Um, oh, man. I don't know what to say, y'all. Uh, like, I just feel like this dude is quicksand. He just going in that quicksand. He got to get real niggas around him. He got to get niggas around him who actually, I'm not saying them niggas don't care about him, but caring about him would not be drinking around him. It's a good point, Toby. Shout out to my nigga Toby Boy Lit. And then find someone else to hype. Why niggas ain't talking about this? Why this ain't no big deal? I don't give a fuck how Earl Swiss feel. I want that nigga to hurt everything I'm saying to make him wake the fuck up. Give a fuck how he feel. Nigga, we gonna let the truth come to the power when the power come to the truth. This nigga need people around him who gonna help him make better decisions. Nothing wrong with chilling at the house. Telling you, Tim. I just don't know, man. I just don't know. We're going to see. I'm just fucked up about it. And I hope niggas around him start speaking up. Stop being scared and shit. Stop being scared. Earl ain't going to let you hang around him no more. These niggas so much groupies. Oh, I don't want to say nothing to Earl. Because if I say something to him, I'm not going to be able to come around no more. Now nah, you dumbass niggas. He need to hear that. He need to hear the reality. You shouldn't give a fuck. Shout out to my nigga Boxing Monster and this motherfucker. You shouldn't give a fuck if he get mad. You shouldn't give a fuck... If he say, oh, this and that. Because at the end of the day, when this nigga sitting there thinking, well, he's going to be like, man, that nigga was telling me some real shit. Let me call this nigga and apologize to whoever one of his partners was telling them that. Like I say, man, I'm fucked up about this situation. And I don't know if Earl Spence get it. I don't know if that car crashed with him flipping all the many times. He get it. Because at the end of the day, you shouldn't put yourself in no position around no type of fucking nightlife right now, bro. Because that nightlife what, what must almost took your motherfucking life. And ruined your promising, promising career. After just becoming the unified IBF and WBC champ. And that's big facts. Oh, God. 
Just hey man, your boy Mr. Out TBA. I don't feel good, man. I just want to get on here and make this video real quick, man. Shout out to everybody, bro. I think uh one two kid about to go live. I want everybody to transfer to one two kid live. I'm gonna stay on here for a couple of minutes until he go live. If he's still on here. So we can all transfer over there to one two kid live. Um, appreciate that, Red. Um, man, your boy feel horrible right now. Like, ooh. Oh, God. Shout out to everybody who represents that UGC. That underground community. You know, that realist boxing talking, that true media. Thank you, Lisa. Thanks, Remy. Um, see, y'all, I can't even wait. I got to get off this shit. So, yeah, I just transfer over the one-two kid live. Y'all know how I do. I'm on that bullshit again.